Hey students, this is project number 12. Now, I sent you a picture. Looks like this, okay, with some drawings on it. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Nice, huh? I know you guys can do this. Now, what color do you think we're going to start out with first? What does Miss S say? Always start with the lightest color. So we're going to do the moon and the moon's shadow. So we're going to start out with the white paint. We're going to paint the moon. And you're going to take a mixing cup and make some pink. Everybody see the pink? Okay. Um, you're going to not clean your brush because that's how we shade, remember? And you're going to put just a little bit of pink and kind of shade it in to make the edge of the moon a little bit of pink. And then down here, we're going to paint white and add a little bit of pink right in this area only. Okay, does so everybody understand that? Then I would like you to let it dry for a minute. And we will go on to the red because the red is a lot darker and you don't really want to mix it with the white. So we're going to use the regular red first. And then you're going to do a mixture of red and one little drop of black. And it should look like this, like a red black. So you're going to start by painting the red in this area, but don't go over the trees. Try to go in and out of the trees so you can see to paint them in later, okay? The red is gonna go across. Don't go over your moon. And then you're not gonna clean your brush and you're going to add the red black up in this area here, okay? Now, we are not done with our red yet. Inside, I'm gonna show you on here. Inside the lines, we're gonna paint red. And as we go down away from the moon, it's going to get darker. You're gonna use your red black. I'll show you on here. Does everybody see that? And remember, I told you, you do not have to clean your brush. You can just dip it in the red black and then kind of blend it in. And don't forget not to go over your white. Okay? Don't go over your white. The last step, let this, you really don't have to let this part dry. This should be dry by the time you start the, the trees. But then you're going to put in, the, then you're going to start with your black and you're going to put in your trees. You see where the trees are by the moon up in here? Okay. And then follow the lines that I, that I put on there for you to do your black. Okay. In and out, in and out, in and out. Okay. Just like this. And then you have a beautiful red sunset that is relatively easy to do and, and uh, it looks beautiful if you have any questions email me okay look on uh, the letter I sent you you can email me let me know how you like the projects and um, students if you can email me some of your finished projects I would love to see those also because I only heard from a couple of students um, and I'd really like to see how things came out because I've sent you 12 projects. I'd like to see some of them. Okay. Like I said, any questions, email me. I'll get back to you. Have a great day. And as I said, I will probably send out three more drawings, no more paintings, but maybe three more drawings before summer break. Have a fabulous day.
Love you all. Miss you all. Hope you're happy and healthy. Take care.